So I recently discovered an AI-powered voice typing app that has tripled my productivity. Watch how I write this email. Hi, Christina. The quarterly earnings report is attached. There are three things that I want to bring to your attention. First, the revenue for the West region was up 10% and the revenue for the East region was down 8%. Second, booked calls were up 12% overall. And third, the Q through the Q3 website traffic, oops, the Q2 website traffic was up 7% overall. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great weekend. Now, the first thing you'll notice here is that the app formatted everything for me. I didn't have to say paragraphs, bullet points, periods, or anything like that. Everything is nicely formatted for me. You'll also notice that I've messed up my speaking there on bullet point number three, and you won't see any of those mess ups in the actual output. So the, the AI powered app is doing all of this work for me. So the app is called Whisperflow, and I'll put a link in the description to their website. As it says here, it's four times faster than typing, and it's available on both uh, Windows, Mac, and the iPhone right now. And I love this graphic they da have down here because it really shows the difference between how fast it is to type on a keyboard versus how fast it is to type when you're speaking. And the fact that it reformats all of your text for you and does all that cleanup work makes it even better. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how to use it and also share some tips that I've learned to help save you even more time. So we'll first take a look at the desktop app. I'm on Windows, but it's also available on Mac. Once you download it and install it, you'll see this app here. As you can see at the top, I've been using it for seven weeks. I've uh, transcribed almost 40,000 words, and I have 120 words per minute output. This is actually low. My output's actually quite a bit more than that, but I do pause a lot and think when I'm speaking into this, so I think that slows down the words per minute. And down below here, you can see that all you have to do is hold down Control and Windows and start speaking into any text box for it to work. It also has your recent activity down here in these transcripts that you can look through your recent activity and copy and paste those. If you need them, they're all there. So let's jump over to ChatGPT and I'll walk through another example of how to use it. It's really easy to use. All I need to do is press and hold that keyboard shortcut, control windows when I'm talking. And then when I'm done talking, I just release the shortcut. And when I press the shortcut, you'll see a little black pill appear down here that lets me know it's recording. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'd like to get your help drafting an email to my boss to request vacation time from September 2nd to the 7th. It's right after month in close and before the holiday rush. So I think it'd be a good time to take vacation. And so it takes just a second or two there. And then again, nicely formatted text. We don't have to say periods or anything like that. Just formats that. We'll go ahead and hit enter and let ChatGPT work on that. After recording this, I noticed that it got this phrase here wrong. However, I listened back to the audio and I did pronounce it like this, but it's a good reminder to speak clearly and pronounce all of your words. If I try again down here, it's right after month end close and before the holiday rush. As you can see, it got it right this time because I had better pronunciation. Now, one annoyance here, one thing that can be annoying, but I've learned a, a way around this, is if you're talking, I'll go ahead and talk again. Actually, those dates were September 3rd through the 9th. Can you redraft the email? Now, when, as I was talking there, I accidentally clicked off the text box. So the focus was lost on the text box and you don't see the transcript or the text appear here in the box. So this can be annoying if you're working or scrolling around a website or something like that as you're talking and you uh, forget or move your focus off the text box. However, you can go into the Whisperflow app and you'll see your last transcript right here. And you can just click the copy transcript button and then go paste that back into whichever app you're in. And this works on any desktop app or website app, really anywhere you can type text, you can use Whisperflow. And there is a keyboard shortcut for this as well, which is really nice. So if you go into settings here and go into set default keyboard shortcuts, first of all, you can change the control windows shortcut to enable push to talk if you wanna use a different shortcut. I found that this shortcut works great. It's very easy and I haven't found any conflicts with any other apps or anything like that. So I really like control windows. And if you scroll down here, there's also a shortcut to paste the last transcript. It's Alt-Shift-Z by default, but if that one's tough to remember and this is something you use often, you can of course change that right here. 
Now, at the beginning of the video, I said that Whisperflow has tripled my productivity. And the way I factor that is just by testing it. This email here has about 70 words and I typed it out and timed myself. I type at about 60 words per minute, give or take, and also depends on the time of the day and how much coffee I've had. With Whisperflow, same thing. I can speak at about 150 to up to 200 words per minute, again, depending on how much coffee I've had. Uh, but that really saves me a ton of time, especially if it's late in the day and I'm just making a lot of typos with my good old fingers here. I can just talk and get things done a lot faster. And another place this time savings can stack up is on your phone. Whisperflow just released an iPhone app. I don't use it a ton yet, but if I'm writing a long document or taking notes or writing an email, it can save me a lot of time because I'm very slow at typing on the phone. Now, if you're working in a cubicle, co-working space, or coffee shop, you might be thinking that you don't want everyone around you to hear what you're typing. Well, I think the reason they named it Whisperflow is because you can actually just quietly whisper into your microphone and it will perfectly detect everything that you're saying. And there you go. Now, Whisperflow is a paid app. This is the pricing at the time of this recording. They do have a free plan, but those 2,000 words a week, uh, you'll use those up pretty quickly if you're using it as much as I am. I am on the pro plan, and I'm happy to pay for this because it has increased my productivity drastically, as I've shown in this video. Whisperflow did not sponsor this video. However, I do have a referral link down in the description if you want to use that when you sign up. And I should also mention that Windows has a voice dictation app built in. You can activate it by pressing Windows H on the keyboard. I'll go ahead and do that and show how it works. Hi, Christina. The quarterly earnings report is attached. There are three things I want to bring to your attention. First, the revenue for the West region was up 10%. Go ahead and deactivate it. And as you can see here, there's no formatting. I need to take extra steps to apply formatting to this. So that's why I like Whisperflow because it's using AI to essentially do all of that formatting for us. Hopefully in the future, Windows comes up with something to integrate Copilot into their voice dictation app to have this all built into Windows because it's a very handy feature that can really improve our productivity. And I also want to mention that in my experience, Whisperflow is really good at detecting acronyms and unique words. Like if I was to say, all of these results are for the EMEA and APAC regions, you can see it gets those abbreviations right away. But if it doesn't, within the app, there is this dictionary tab where you can go add uh, unique words or phrases that you say commonly where it might need to autocorrect those. Now, since this is an AI powered app, all of the processing is done in the cloud, but it is all encrypted and you can read more about that on Whisperflow's website. And if that doesn't bug you, then I'd highly encourage you to check it out because as I've said, it's really saved me a lot of time and helped me be more productive. And that's what we're all about here at Excel Campus to help you improve your efficiency, not just with your spreadsheets, but also with your workflows as well. Leave a comment and let us know what you think of this one. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.